Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So don't get too used to this setup right here. I know that I basically just moved and I'm going to be moving again. So this is actually going to be the last week that I'm in this setup. I'm still gonna have all of the same furniture as usual. It's just gonna be set up once again. So I think that this stuff is actually gonna be pre-filmed and I will edit this once I'm in the, once I'm in, I'm making up words, once I'm in the middle of filming, of moving and um, yeah, I will be able to edit and get this out to you guys while I'm in the middle of moving. I'm really sorry that I have been slacking a lot on my beauty channel, but I have not been slacking on my vlog channel. A lot of you guys have been enjoying that, and um, actually the majority of you don't know about it. I think it's still under 10,000 followers on there, and there's almost 200,000 followers or subscribers on here, so I really hope and pray that you guys will go over there and see some more sides of me. And also, I'm sorry, like, I'm very itchy and I have no idea what is going on with my skin lately. Um, a lot of you guys have been commenting um, about it to me and asking what's going on. I don't know if you can really tell, but I am breaking out on my face a lot. I'm breaking out on my chest. I'm breaking out on my back. Um, I did stop birth control and I believe that getting off of my birth control really caused my skin to break out. And then the stress of divorce and moving and keeping up with work and all that, of course, is breaking me out as well. So um, just hang in there with me, guys. My life is finally starting to slow down and things will be back to normal as soon as I'm moved into my new place, I promise you guys, I'm gonna be rolling out these videos like crazy. So anyway, with that being said, in today's video, I have a makeup haul for you guys and I'm really excited to show you guys these first couple of items because they're actually from a new company that I found out about here on YouTube. I saw What Would Lizzie Do? Um, and Rosita Applebaum both have videos on this brand or this company and it's called Glambot. And basically what it is, is they sell gently used, or let me see how exactly they put it, new and pre-owned gently used makeup. And one thing that I really like is they actually have products that are limited edition. And you guys know that like when MAC has a new collection out and you miss out on that lipstick and then you go on eBay or um, somewhere online to try and get that product that it's like sold for five times the original price that it really pisses me off and I will just end up not getting it at all. Now this line or I don't know what to call it, this company, this website has products that are limited edition. My dog is going crazy right now, hold on. Nana, please calm down. Okay, we're just gonna try to ignore that, but what I was saying is there are some limited edition products on there and the prices are not hiked up. They actually are less than the retail price and it's not only limited edition products, it's products, all types of different products. I actually wrote down some of the popular lines on there. They have Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Benefit, Chanel, Lime Crime, MAC, NARS, Tarte, Urban Decay, a bunch of very, very popular brands, and I really like that it's cheaper than the actual retail. Not everything is used, um, but the ones that are used, I actually was, I felt a little bit iffy about getting used makeup, but actually everything comes sealed. And I believe that Glambot, they kind of just go over everything. I don't know if they sanitize them or what it is that they do, but the products come, a lot of them come in the box, in original packaging, and they're not like crap products. They, they look brand new to me. and. They're cheaper than retail, and it's kind of like a flash sale. You definitely have to jump on it when you see something because it goes like that. I saw, um, it was a Lime Crime Velveteen that I saw, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get that, and I waited on it, and then I hopped on about two hours later, and I was gonna order it, and it was already gone. So if you see something that you want, get it right away. I only got three things. I wanna show you guys what I got. The first thing was my first high-end loose powder. I don't know why I've always wanted a high-end loose powder. I feel like it's so luxurious. And with loose powders, you just get a finish that I feel like a pressed powder can't give you. So this is by NARS, and this is in the shade Eden. And, okay, it's a little bit messy right now. It's gonna go all over the place. But basically, it's just a loose, a translucent loose setting powder. And you guys will definitely see this in my upcoming videos. I know that I have seriously fallen off the bandwagon or whatever falling off track <laughs> with the tutorials and that is because I had my LASIK surgery and for the longest time I was wearing glasses I could not film makeup tutorials so I didn't have any for Valentine's Day and I am like craving so bad to sit down and film a makeup tutorial for you guys so I promise those will be coming up as soon as I'm moved and settled the next product that I got is from the bomb and this is the Betty luminizer I really really love my highlighter by the bomb the Mary Luminizer. So this is kind of similar, but this is in a bronze color. And this is what it looks like right here. This is really, really popular here on YouTube. 
I'll show you guys a little bit of a swatch. So it looks like it's very, it's like a highlight, but in a bronze color. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. And I feel like that would look really, really pretty on the eyes as well. You guys know that I have a thing for using bronzers on my eyes, but this would be really pretty at nighttime too to kind of carve out your, your cheeks. So um, I picked that one up. And then the last thing that I picked up is another NARS product. And this is also a cult favorite. And this is NARS Blush. And can you guys guess that shade? It's in the shade Orgasm. I have wanted to try this for the longest time. Wow, that is really pretty. It's kind of like a pink with a peachy... It kind of reminds me of Spring Sheen by MAC. It's not really swatching very well. I don't know if you guys can see it. Actually, no, my ring light is totally going to wash that out. But it's a really pretty color. It has a, it definitely has a golden sheen to it, but it's a pink color. Really different. I like that. So those are the three items that I picked up from Glambot. If you guys want to sign up or to register, I will have everything down below. I am working with them, but I am not getting paid. They gave me some credit to try some things off the website, but it's not sponsored. I'm not making any money off of you guys signing up for the website or anything like that. I just want to be completely honest with you guys. But I do think it's a cool company, and I definitely will continue to check them out. And if you guys want to see more videos um, featuring what I get from Glambot, definitely let me know down below. Then I just wanted to show you guys some other things that I picked up from random places. The first thing that I picked up, and I was going to do a first impressions on this, but I just couldn't wait and I wanted to try it, so obviously I ruined that. This is the um, Maybelline, what is it? It says Matte and Poreless. Is that Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless? And um, I wanted to try this so, so bad. I did not like the original formula because it was very like dewy and I have combination skin. So I picked up this one because it has a matte finish and it says it's for normal to oily skin and I love the finish of it. It was so beautiful. It, it's a very thin formula. It's very liquidy, but it covers a lot. It has, it's really pigmented and it covers everything, but after three days of using it, I broke out like crazy. So I was pretty upset because I really do love the formula. If you are looking for a full coverage or medium to buildable full coverage foundation, um, with a matte finish from the drugstore. I think you would love this. It covers up acne scarring, it covers up acne, redness. It's very long lasting. I feel like it would be the perfect summer foundation, but if you have sensitive skin, definitely stay away from it. I'm actually experimenting right now, going back to um, the Cover FX Cream Foundation and then my, um, what is it, the Jane Iredale Powder Foundation over that. That's what I'm wearing on my face right now because I do need full coverage because my skin is just going crazy, but we will talk about that in another video. And then I also wanted to talk about the lip combo that I have been wearing a lot lately. A lot of you guys have been asking me on Instagram and on my vlog channel what I have been rocking on a daily basis on my lips. And um, that is, I put this all over my lips. This is the Jordana Easy Liner in the shade Pink Love. I think their lip liners are like $1.99, really, really cheap. So this is kind of just like a mid-tone pink. Uh, more on the warm side. It's not a cool pink and then what I put over that is my new baby This is my new love. This is the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade pure Hollywood And this is what it looks like right here. It's a very light milky baby pink lavender type of color This one is very cool toned and I just love the combination of these two together when I apply this alone It's a very very nude. It's like a nude baby pink, but when I pair it up with this darker pink color it gives this lip right here, which is kind of like a natural looking pink with a matte finish. Sometimes I'll put a lip, a lip gloss over it, but lately I haven't. I just thought that I was talking to myself for the past 10 minutes and that I did not press record. That would have been bad and it would definitely not been the first time that I've done that. And the last products that I want to show you guys is something that I went back to that has been making a big difference in calming down my skin. And you, they actually changed the packaging of this, so you might not even recognize this, but this is the Mint Julep Mask by Queen Helene. It's basically a green mask, and I can come out with a video on this if you guys want to see it. Um, the reason that I love this so much is because it has sulfur. I believe that it's sulfur in the ingredients. And um, it just, yeah, it is sulfur. It really helps to calm down my acne and bring everything to the surface. So I apply this maybe, I don't apply this the way that you're supposed to. I don't apply this all over the face and then wash it off after five or 10 minutes. I actually spot treat with it and sleep with it overnight. And I just wake up in the morning and rinse it off. And it really helps to just bring everything to the surface and calm down the redness. Again, if you guys wanna see a complete video on this, let me know. And I know I'm using my hands a lot when I talk because I've 
done that ever since I was a little girl. And I do have to have a disclaimer to ignore my nails right now. How shocking is it that they're not painted? I always have my nails painted and I don't lately because they all broke and I'm trying to um, do the whole Nail Envy, the OPI Nail Envy program where you apply a layer of it every single day for I think seven to 10 days in a row. You just let it build up, then you take it off, then you do the whole thing over again. And once they grow in nice and long and strong, I'm gonna go over and just use it as a base coat and a top coat. So that's why my nails are not painted for these videos. I'm sorry, I hate, I hate, I don't know if any of you girls are like me, but I hate seeing my nails not painted. I just feel like I'm just very used to seeing them painted all the time and when they're not painted, it really bothers me. So. The last product that I picked up that I want to show, and I'm sorry that I'm looking over there, my camera is flashing, I think it's about to die, of course, um, are these soaps. And the reason that I picked up these soaps is because my friend Alba of Sunkissed Alba always talks about these. And I have been breaking out again, not only on my face, but on my chest, which is really weird because I've never broken out on my chest and my back. And it's bad, it's like, it's actually very embarrassing and I'm so determined to clear this up before summertime because I really don't want to be dealing with that. If any of you guys have tried any type of soap or any body product that has helped with body acne, back acne, chest acne, please let me know down below because I've never dealt with that problem before in my life and I do think it's because of the stress. Um, but anyway, these are by Dr. Bronner and I picked them up um, on GNC.com. I know that they have them at Target. They have them at a lot of places but for very expensive. I think the size of this one at Target is around $18 and I picked it up for under $10 on GNC.com. So this is the mint one and um, it says that it's an 18 in 1 hemp, hemp peppermint pure castile soap. So it's supposed to be very, very pure and you're supposed to dilute this with water and you can use it as a shampoo, you can use it to rinse your mouth, um, you can use it to clean your makeup brushes, of course you can use it to clean your body. Yours, I don't know, there's a lot of writing on this bottle. I don't know if you guys have seen this. I pass this like all the time and never thought to pick it up until I started having this body acne, which sounds so gross, but I tell you guys everything. So I picked up the mint one because there's nothing like a fresh, like refreshing mint. I feel like that's the epitome of clean and cleanliness. So I wanted the mint one, and then I also picked up the lavender one, and these, you guys, they smell so amazing. That smells like pure mint. This smells like pure lavender, like this lingers on your body. It's a beautiful scent. The lavender one I figured that I would pick up because it kind of has like the calming properties. I thought I could use this at night, especially if I'm dealing with stress to kind of calm me down. And then the last one that I picked up is the tea tree. And I picked up tea tree, actually this one I have not used yet, and let's see if I can smell it. I can't smell it, it has a cap on there, but I, I know that tea tree is known for not smelling good, so I don't know how that's gonna work out, but I know tea tree is really, really good for acne prone skin. So I only picked this one up specifically for using in those areas where I'm breaking out. So um, I will let you guys know an update on this. As you guys can see, they're all pretty new. I have, they haven't been used that many times, so I have not seen a big difference just yet but I will definitely update you guys on that. And again, please let me know if any of you guys have horrible body acne. It sounds so gross. Let me know if you have found anything to help you out because it's embarrassing and it hurts. It seriously, like, it hurts. My face hurts and my chest hurts and my back hurts because of these breakouts. And um, I'm really excited to go back on birth control um, to kind of tame down all the breakouts. Uh, my, not my esthetician, my GYN told me that Yaz is a really good birth control to go on to control acne. So I'm starting that back up today and hopefully we'll get back and check in a couple of weeks because I've never really seen my skin this bad but I know the stress from the divorce and the stress from um, moving and the stress from work, it all kind of attacked me at once and I'm all over the place and everyone is mad at me because I kind of just don't have time for anyone lately and you know my life is just all over the place but if you guys followed my vlog channel you would know a little bit more about that so definitely please go over and subscribe to my vlog channel I'm not doing daily vlogging but I'm doing weekly vlogging here and there I like to film a lot and it's very easy for me to just paste everything together it's very raw unedited no filter um, it's def definitely not a G-rated channel and it's not for kids. 
But if you guys want to see me and other aspects of my life, definitely go over there and subscribe. I will have all the information down below. I'm about to go film two more videos for you guys. And then I have a meeting to go to right after this. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.